welcome back to my channel we have an interesting very interesting geometry question to solve so here we are told this is not drawn to school please yes and this is a quarter of a circle so this is a quadrant excuse me from here to here is 24 units from here to here is seven units from here to here is x and we are asked to find the value of x Mm. all right now we're going to make use of whatever that is given to us the first thing is that we have 90 degrees here and this side and this side of the triangle is given we can make use of that by using the Pythagorean theorem okay so if we call this a this is o this is b right and this is c so if we connect a to b all right please this is not drawn to scale it's hand sketch so this is supposed to be a straight line from a to b all right now triangle triangle abc all right using pythagorean theorem let's call this length the height okay the hypotenuse sorry because this is the hypotenuse of triangle abc all right now according to the Pythagorean theorem in a right angle triangle of hypotenuse hash and sides A and B, A squared plus B squared is equal to H squared, right? So that means that in triangle ABC, H squared is equal to 24 squared plus seven squared right yeah that is a c squared plus c b squared now h squared is equal to now 24 squared i don't cram my figures or anything i don't i'm going to use a mass trick to get this right yes i'm going to use a mass trick to get this now using the mass trick four squared is 16 two squared is four okay if you want to learn this please you need to check my playlist for maastricht is on this channel just go to my page check for my playlist and in my playlist you are going to see maastricht as a playlist so you're going to see this so don't just learn it from here and stop because there are some things that might change when this figure changes or anything happens to the figure okay so you learn it well now two squared is four now two times four is eight eight times two is 16. so if i add i will have two seven six five five seven six sorry so it means that 24 squared is five seven six so we have five seven six plus seven squared is 49 all right so if we add five seven six to 49 we are going to have h squared is equal to nine plus six is five remainder one right seven plus four is eleven plus one twelve right to and carry one again one plus five is six so h if we take square root of both sides h is going to be equal to square root of six to five so h is equal to 25 yeah we all know that 25 squared is 625 so it means that this length from a to b is 25 all right now we actually asked to find x that is from here to here from b to o how do we go about it you can see that this is not going to be possible yes except if we continue that is if we complete this quarter circle and make it a semicircle so let's complete this making it a a semicircle all right this is not perfect but please manage it now we are going to increase this c from this cb extrapolate it to reach this side so if we continue to that side okay all right now note that a o is the radius of this quarter circle right so if a o is r then o let's call this d okay then od is r as well this is our b right yes now note 
that at this point what do we gain from here i want you to know that here is 90 degrees because this is the center of this circle right yeah and that means this side is 90 degrees as well now if you consider this you can see that ao is equal to od now let us compare triangle abo let's compare triangle abo and triangle bod triangle abo and triangle bod now you can see that ao is equal to od okay so this side and this side are equal and this side is a common to both of them bo is common to both of them so this side is also equal right and these angles are equal angle o is equal here and also equal here so using side angle side side angle side criterion okay what can you say about these two triangles it simply means that two of them are congruent yes they are congruent right yes and one thing about congruent triangles is that their corresponding sides are equal corresponding sides are equal are equal okay so this is for those that don't really understand my accent now if the corresponding sides are equal this implies that a b is equal to b d a b is equal to b d which is equal to 25 so it simply means that b d is 25 as well nice now mm, if we are able to get r we can get x yes so if this is the first time you are seeing this lovely channel please click that subscription button turn on your notification bell okay so that you don't miss our amazing videos you upload our videos as often as we can so tune in at your convenience there must be something new to watch by god's grace okay give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video thank you very much i really appreciate you all okay now let us look at this let us consider triangle a c d so triangle a c d this is right angle right this is a this is c and this is d now ac is 24 cd is 7 plus 25 and ad is r plus r okay now using the pythagorean theorem here using pythagorean theorem i need to clean this yeah for a reason let me just clean it i need space to work with yeah so from here to here is what we are looking for and this x all right so using the pythagorean theorem here this is our hypotenuse so r plus r is 2r so 2r squared is equal to 24 squared plus 7 plus 25 is um 32 so we have 32 squared so a b all squared is equal to a squared multiplied by b squared okay so this will be 2 squared multiplied by r squared is equal to now i'm going to make use of my matrix to get these values 24 squared we have gotten that before as five oh sorry i've forgotten think five so four squared is 16 two squared is four two times four eight times two sixteen okay so we got five seven six yeah so 24 squared is five seven six plus now 32 squared 2 squared is 4. I'm going to write 0, 4 because I need this to be a 2-digit number. You see why I said 
you should go and wash my mask strips so that i don't make mistake you know what you are doing okay so this is two squared for i need it to be a two digit number three squared is nine now three times two is six six times two is twelve we add four two one zero so we are going to have 124 as 32 squared so plus 100 and 1024 sorry so 4 arrow squared is equal to 6 plus 4 is 10 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 10 again 5 plus 0 is 5 plus 1 6 and 1 will come down okay now let's divide both sides by 4 okay so 4 we divide 4 and we have r squared is equal to 4 we divide 16 we have 4 divide 0 we have 0 divide 0 we have 0 so r squared is equal to 400 okay so that means that r is equal to the square root of 400 so r is equal to 400 is same thing as 100 multiplied by 4 square root of 100 is 10 square root of 4 is 2 so 10 times 2 is 20 so square root of 400 is 20 so it means that r is 20 units wow now we have come to the end of this journey yes because once we are able to get our r then our x is right there looking at us so remember that this is b now considering triangle a b o we have this this and this right so this is b this is o and this is x that we are asked to find a b is 25 AO is 20. And this is right angle. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? So, using the Pythagorean theorem again, we are going to have 25 squared is equal to 20 squared plus x squared. Okay? So, if we transfer this to this side, we have 25 squared minus 20 squared is equal to x squared so remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b so we can write this as 25 we can write this as 25 minus 20 multiplied by 25 plus 20 is equal to x squared now 25 minus 20 is 5 and 25 plus 20 is 45 is equal to x squared 5 times 5 25 carry 2 5 times 4 20 plus 2 22 so we have 225 is equal to x squared if we take square root of both sides we will have that 15 is equal to x and that is the answer thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye